Good morning. It's Tuesday, March 3rd, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Hiding Place, and our scripture is Psalm 32. Oh, what joy for those whose disobedience is forgiven, whose sin is put out of sight. Yes, what joy for those whose record the Lord has cleared of guilt, whose lives are lived in complete honesty. When I refused to confess my sin, my body wasted away, and I groaned all day long. Day and night your hand of discipline was heavy on me. My strength evaporated like water in the summer heat. Finally, I confessed all my sins to you and stopped trying to hide my guilt. I said to myself, I will confess my rebellion to the Lord. And you forgave me. All my guilt is gone. Therefore, let all the godly pray to you while there is still time, that they may not drown in the floodwaters of judgment. For you are my hiding place. You protect me from trouble. You surround me with songs of victory. The whole focus of the Lenten season is confession and absolution. The hinge pin on the door of forgiveness is a matter of willingness to confess our sins. Without that, there is no hiding place for our sins. King David understood this fully. As ruler over the most powerful nation on earth, one would imagine David's life was filled with parties and songs and splendor. On the contrary, the king's life was overrun with guilt and despair. His vigor and appetite for life were evaporating like water in the summer heat. It's said that one of President Ronald Reagan's favorite cartoons was the picture of a cowboy searching through a considerable pile of horse manure. The caption has the cowboy thinking, There must be a pony in here somewhere. To be sure, that places positive thinking on a whole new level of optimism. But it's also a microcosm of a culture that seeks happiness anywhere and in anything but the source of all happiness and joy. Life, as King David discovered, becomes a manure pile without hope of a pony when lived apart from a right relationship with God. The movie, The Hiding Place, chronicled the heroic effort of Corey Ten Boom and her family hiding Jews in the wall of their home in Germany during World War II. This was a conscience-driven attempt to save their powerless, endangered neighbors. King David sought a hiding place for his sins by attempting to forget himself. He covered his sins with lies and conspiracy. But in the end, it was a manure pile of an existence. His true hiding place was found in confession, laying out his sinful, dark ways before God in prayer. When he finally confessed his sins, David found forgiveness. For you today, you don't have to be a murderer, a sexual predator, or a bank robber to need forgiveness. It can be as simple as stealing a paperclip or a harsh word spoken. God's word says... We all need to confess our sins. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.